hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you just so happen to be joining me for the very first time hey thank you so much for clicking on my video thank you so much for being here my name is Donella and this well this is my world of beauty here on YouTube okay so for this week's video I'm going to try to make this short as short and sweet as possible this has again once again has to do with complexion I'm focusing a lot on complexion because I have been receiving a lot of messages in my DMs through regular um, text messages, you know, iMessages, WhatsApp, whatever you want, whatever means of text communication that I normally use. I have been receiving a lot of questions about um, complexion and how to apply products so you don't look overly cakey. That you, you know, everybody just like you always your, your your foundation and everything always just looks flawless. I want to learn how to do my makeup like that. So right for so for this week's video i'm just going to be focusing on complexion once again so if you are interested in seeing what i create at the end of this video then please stay okay so for this video right and this is this is a question that is asked more often than not um what happens if i run out of foundation or if i don't like foundation and i want to look i want to look um cut and contoured and bronzy and delicious and my makeup just looks flawless how do I go about doing that? Now you can use powders, however, some now you can use concealers and powders. However, some persons don't want to just use powders, and some pe persons don't want to just use concealers. Some persons' skin can actually work with with, with just using um, one particular product, and you're good to go for maybe six to eight hours. However, um, in some instances, this is something that I used to do during the pandemic, like back. Oh my god, I don't even want to remember that one. During the pandemic when we couldn't really wear a full face of makeup, but I never really wore a full face of makeup. I used to just go in with just concealers and powders and on some days when I feel like I could possibly play up this a little bit more, um, I would go in with um, a contour cream or a contour stick, whichever you want to call it, and just play up a little bit with that. So for this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a really flawless um, makeup look without using any foundation so let me get the products that i want to use for this video collected here actually they're already here what am i saying but let me just get my tools and we're gonna go straight here into we this. are so the first thing we, uh, we have to do obviously is going with a primer that's going to keep things together for however long we have our makeup on um so i'm going to go in with one of my favorite found um primer sorry not foundation one of my favorite primers when it comes to allowing your makeup to last throughout the course of the day it's the milk makeup hydrogen primer you guys have heard me talk about this and use this in a bunch of my videos because this baby is really good and we just need to lather that or search it says spread that all over our face because we want to make sure that everything is applied generously and also um nice and smooth over our face so we good so after we've allowed the primer to dry down and get sticky because it has that grip then next we're going to go in with a cream contour now pay attention because we have to go in with a generous amount of this because we're not wearing any foundation or anything like that okay so we're gonna go in and I'm going to dip really dip it and then just really start applying it heavily around the perimeter of my face where I normally contour really going heavy really going heavy with that just keep dipping then I'm going to do my usual contour where I just come down just a little bit on my neck and then we're just going to blend that out so it's going to just go around in tapping motions and blend that out just like that Go in and blend as much as you want. For me personally, I want the contour to really be out here, so I'm not going to blend this out too much. But I am going to keep applying it. Um, but, and, but like I said, you really have to apply a generous amount of the cream contour, just because you want that. Yeah, you want that contour look to really come through because you're not wearing any foundation, and you want the look to really look like you are in fact wearing foundation. So I've done that, and I'm going to go in next with the usual concealer that I use to cover up my um the darkness underneath my eye that being the Too Faced multi sculpt multi multi use sculpting concealer in the shade spice rum I'm going to use spice rum right underneath here to cover up my dark circles right here and I'm going to go in right away because 
right away and I'm going to use my e.l.f. sponge that is slightly damp and just go ahead and blend that right out. And right after that, I'm going to go in with another concealer. This one is the Kevin Aquan, the Kevin Aquan, sorry for mispronouncing your names there. The Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This one is in the shade SX16. This is almost as close, if not exact, to my skin color as you can get. And I'm not going to do anything that I don't normally do. I'm just going to go in and just cover the areas that I normally cover with concealer. And I'm going to go around, go around in this area because this area doesn't have any foundation. Dip again, go in this area. This area doesn't have any foundation. And I think I need to just use my hand mirror because I'm not really seeing what I need to see. And because this is really close to my skin color, I'm, I'm going to have to go in with another concealer that's slightly lighter just to make sure that we have that highlight that we need to see but this sensual skin enhancer as you can see right it has this gel like finish that actually adds this really nice glow to <laughs> your skin if you ever happen to use it and it's also a full coverage baby it almost literally looks like i'm wearing i'm wearing foundation but i'm really not it is a real full coverage concealer and i'm gonna have to go in once again with um my cream contour once i'm done like this but look at that this literally has me looking like i'm wearing um foundation but i'm not it has a gel type very glowy finish i love it i absolutely love it i know some persons who don't like the whole dewy thing that this is gonna be a problem for you but i kind of like it because i still add a bit of powder to kind of pull it back so for me I'm, I'm okay with it okay so next i'm going to go in with um a third concealer this one is going to add the highlight and bring back a bit this one is actually just going to add the bit of highlight that i need to my skin so that everything doesn't look so flat so i'm going to add just a little bit right here and add a little bit here i think i'm also going to add some little bit here so that everything doesn't look so everything doesn't look so flat so a little bit here here and then I'm going to flip this to the, on the other end and then just start blending it out. Use, my, use this one where I can see a little bit closer and just start blending that in. Now these are just some tricks that I use like in some instances where I feel like hey I don't want to wear any foundation today I just want to add a little bit of coverage to my face add some powder of course because I have oily skin but of course i know i have to in, so, in instances like this i know i have to go in with concealers that are full coverage concealers so if you happen to try this look where you're, you're out of foundation or even if you're not out of foundation and you just want to try this look um be sure that you use products that are on the full coverage side so that it still gives the look of the possibility that you're wearing makeup for persons don't need to know whether you're wearing foundation or not you know you just have to keep them guessing like you, you're, you, the application process and your blending process just has to look amazing that people don't know that you're not wearing um foundation they're just like oh her makeup looks really good and then when they ask me like oh what foundation is that you're wearing like girl i'm not wearing any foundation this is concealer and contour cream and they're like really this is concealer and contour cream and they're going to be like what you know it just all depends on the products that you use all depends on the products that you use and how you blend out properly now of course um because i would have applied that and i want my contour um to pop a little bit more i'm just going to go in once again and just add a little bit more just for some dimension so that we can see the dimension between the concealer and the contour cream and I believe I'm just going to add just a small bit of bronzing powder just so that we can um, define the contour area a bit more. So I'm just going to go in and blend this and blend this and blend this and blend it. It's, of course, you know the blending process plays a major role when it comes to applying your complexion products. A major, 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 major role. 
in applying your complexion products. You gotta make sure you got to make sure that you blend them till they are good. Otherwise, your makeup is going to look splotchy, and when it dries down completely after you've applied your powders, etc., you're gonna have cracks and whatnot. Like, really pay attention to your blending. Pro your blending process is one of the most important um, parts of applying your makeup. Making sure that everything is blended seamlessly. So, because I don't want this concealer to start moving around. I am going to go ahead and add my powders. I'm going to be using two powders for this. My Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Skin Perfecting Powder and my, of course, my Fenty. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty first, which is um, the honey shade to set my under eyes. Yeah, it's my sponge right there we are. I'm going to set my under eyes with that right away so that we don't see any creasing or anything like that. Okay, so we have the Fenty powder on, and I'm just going in and making sure I press that Fenty powder in to make sure that everything is nice and set. We don't see any cracks and creases, we don't see any movement. I'm just making sure that Fenty powder is set. I like to just come over my nose bridge just slightly because I do wear shades, and whenever I do decide to create a look like this. I love to make sure that there's enough powder in this area right here so that you know there's always a little dent from wearing your shades you know when you're driving or you're walking or if you just prefer shades um, you, I always just like to add that little extra bit of powder over my nose bridge to try to help with making sure that we get rid of the creasing when it's time to get rid of the creasing we just have to go back in with all the applicator here and just dust away that little dent <laughs> that would have been left behind from our shades. So I'm going to go in now with the same sponge. I'm just going to add a little bit of my Pat McGrath Labs powder and I'm going to add that right here. I'm not going to add too much because this would literally look on my skin. I don't want to add too much. I just want to add this a little bit here. And then I also want to go over it with my Fenty. So I'm just going to add the Fenty right here. This is just to add a little bit of highlight and so that the contour actually comes through. You can see the contour and dimensions between the contour and the highlighted areas a little bit better. But for some reason, I, f I, this, I just discovered this the other day. When I, I, when I apply just a tad bit of the Pat McGrath and then a little bit of the, fen the Fenty Over, I feel like the coverage and the smoothness just looks like a chef's kiss. And I just happened to have discovered it by mistake. Like, I wasn't like, it's not like I was like trying to do anything. It's just that I happened to have reached for this some time ago and I was just covering the area there that I would have applied the concealer to. And I realized after I, I did that and then I applied the Fenty, it was just looking. The area just looks completely smooth for the entire day because you know sometimes especially if you you sweat just above your cupid's bow you know there's always a bit of um separation between the makeup and whatnot throughout the course of the day but i realized when i add both of them baby she stays put she stays put we're still focusing on the, the the contour now in some instances i love to just leave the contour as is and just you know when everything sets and i just start seeing that glowiness on the side it's cool but that Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer it has a very 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 come through glossy that sometimes might make you look a little bit on the greasy side so I like to just um, take extra pre precautions by adding a little bit more powder so I'm going to set my cream contour my Vanessa Myers cream contour my balm powder what is she called the yummy skin um, balm powder by the way this that's in the shade number 10 in case you're wondering I've used this in a number of my past videos. Um, I've been obsessed with it since I started using it as a matter of fact. <laughs> I think I need like a whole case. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of extra protection in that area in terms of um, like a powder, pressed powder, loose powder, whatever you want to call it. That's just because that Kevin Aquan's um, Sensual Skin Enhancer, I've realized from using it in the past, it could sneak up on you and it could just make everything just look it could really come through the, the, the areas of your makeup out. So I like to just add a little bit of extra protection here. So I'm going to go in with a second powder underneath here. You know, I normally just go in with like the second Fenty powder, which is the banana shade. I love to go in with that just underneath my eyes, just directly underneath my eyes, just because I like my highlight. I like the way how my highlight looks when I apply the banana and the honey together. 
so just directly underneath my eyes i'm going to add the honey and because we want to make sure the shape of this highlight doesn't look crazy and it doesn't look like a bucket of water or something we want to make sure that we drag the powder okay we want to make sure that we drag the powder all the way down here to make sure everything is set in nicely and then we're going to do the same thing on this side make sure that the powder the shape of the powder is set correctly on the face we want the bucket looking um, highlight when everything done set and everything done sprayed down and everything we want a bucket looking highlight so I do that to make sure everything is nice and tidy now, it's amazing to me how when you just add a little bit of liner in your waterline how everything just start looking sexy everything just start looking tied together the lash everything everybody is just um, working hand in hand everybody's just looking sexy okay so let me just add my bottom mascara I have to look up I realized when I put the mirror in upward position I could actually see better in terms of pulling down those bottom lashes and then I can actually see if I need to add just a tad bit mascara underneath um, my falsies are if I forgot to apply in the first instance <laughs> When I'm looking up, I can see all that, so I can fix all that. Let's just treat the makeup off of my beauty mark by adding this liquid liner. I feel like liquid liner really makes this pop a lot more. Okay, so I just went ahead and applied my highlighter and a little bit of blush. I, of course, removed the makeup from over my beauty mark, and I got my baby to work again, the Moran Setting Spray. She's working again, girl. She's working again, so I've already added some to my skin as well. Let me not waste it. I, I did I waste it, and then said, so let me not waste it. Anyway, we are going, just going to complete the look by adding a nice, cute lip. A nice, cute, nudie lip. So I'm going to go in with the brown on this double-ended pencil, which I think is really nice and it comes to a real subtle brown it's really nice i really like it so i'm just gonna line my lip like this mm -hmm. and i want to go in with this nyx this is milky lip gloss i don't necessarily use this because it's so much on a neutral side that i feel like it's going to just look crazy this one is called cookies and milk it's this shade right here it looks like this but once you tighten with a brown pencil it really, it really doesn't look that scary it really doesn't look that scary so I'm gonna now that I've lined my lip with that um, chocolatey brown pencil I'm going to go in with cookies and milk mm -hmm. so you know, this is how it looks imagine if I didn't line my lip mm -hmm. Now we can blend them two together. You see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? I feel like it looks really good tied in with this. Okay. Tell you what, let me just do that first and then talk. Okay, ladies, so this is a completed look. Listen, let me tell you something, right? This baby right here, this Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, which is like, I actually went up a color. The last one I had was SX15, and it was more, it was a look a bit too on the orangey side for me so he released um a new formula same sensual skin enhancer but it seems as if he made some adjustments in terms of the formula and the undertones and so forth and sx16 is literally my exact skin color as you guys saw when i was applying it um in the areas where i applied it and it has a really jelly dewy finish to it which i absolutely love but you, i always have to just apply a bit of powder to kind of pull it back because i do have um, oily skin and if i'm not careful with that baby right there i can just be looking like a complete grease ball so i love it but i always have to be very careful and as you can see right i've used this for a number of time right and as you can see it's just that little thing right there that i just keep using because not only is she um powerful you really only need just a small bit a small bit so a container like this is gonna last maybe at least a year if not more but more in most case, cases you know everything ex has expiration date so i recommend just having it for a year and then um, after that completely up to you 
but for me i try to use like complexion products within the span of a year and then just replace them but i love it it it, it is like a multi-use product you can use it to apply in your skin you can use it um, to apply your skin as a concealer sorry you can use it as a foundation you can use it as a eyeshadow primer you can use it to sculpt your eyebrows because I, I actually use it to sculpt my eyebrows because I know it's like my exact skin's complexion shade so it was absolutely smooth and delicious and buttery to work with it's it's a really great product so I know some persons will probably look it up and be like hey this is kind of a little bit on the pricey side but trust me if you can invest in something like this it's this size and you can get so much usage out of it trust me you really really want to make that investment especially for my girls who love full coverage maybe you have some hyperpigmentation you have some sort of skin imperfection and you're looking for something that is not because realistically speaking right when you buy these concealers that have the one they have to make room for the one so um your, your your concealer is probably like down here because once you put this in you know if, if it's filled up obviously <laughs> for those of us who know how things work it's gonna spill over so realistically speaking this isn't a full um container of concealer this probably maybe half the way because they have to make room i'm just over exaggerating but they have to make room for the one to actually fit in and for it to be screwed and cocked whatever you want to call it so in most instances i would actually say invest in a concealer that's in a jar because you get a lot more usage and you get a lot more products which pretty much ties into each other so think on that think about what i'm saying i'm just think about what i just said and just think on the type of investment that you want to make in terms of your makeup and your makeup you have in your drawer bag wherever you have your makeup <laughs> all right ladies and gents so that is it for this video can you guys believe i'm actually not wearing any foundation this was all just concealer powder and contour cream oh and, and of course bronzing 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 powder let's not forget that as well so you can actually create a look without foundation i i'm re really really interested I, as a matter of fact it's piqued my interest i feel like i want to wear this for this come for this coming work week i feel like i want to just wear this not of course this much makeup i don't wear this much makeup to work i stop my eyebrows and i apply very little very little because um when i go out i like to look different so when i go to work i i do wear makeup but i apply just a very small amount we are you know when i'm going out on the town i'm looking popping and be like ooh, 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 ooh. she is popping so for those of you who want to try it i really enjoy creating this video i'm hoping that it's short and sweet and this extensive talking that i'm doing is not making the video longer so let's just cut it cut the cameras <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you happen to have enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up on your way out and also if you have not subscribed to my channel already please be sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button on your way out thank you guys so much for being here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys real real soon on my next video